Welcome back to Keys to Crypto, the Crypto Playboy. This episode, I'm covering with you how to set up an FTX exchange account. So what you want to do is click the link down below. It'll take you to FTX itself, and I'll have our link for it, which is a referral code. Remember, any of the referral codes you use from us goes back to the group in Discord in there. So that's how to do the prizes or giveaways. It comes from these referral codes. Make sure you use them and get in there, because guess what? You get it back to yourself in the end. There's some fun ones coming up as well. Um, so what you do is when you see this page, click create a free account. Enter your email address. Give yourself a good password. But this is your password. Do not share with anyone. I shouldn't have to say this, but I know there are people out there that give their passwords away to anyone or they write them somewhere stupid and everyone can see it. So keep it safe and to yourself only. Agree to the terms and create account. Now, I'm not going to show you all these steps because it's about maybe five, six of them you've got to go through yourself. We you enter in your legal name, enter in your address, and you fill out some documents. You might have to submit a photo of your ID in there. Um, it's a pretty simple process to follow along, so I'll let you do that yourself. Um, sometimes maybe a step where you have to enter in Stripe at the end, and Stripe's just this automatic system which allows them to check your ID quickly and check if it's like a legitimate document. So that may be a step you have to do at the end. Sometimes it's done in the past to me, and some hasn't. So if it does do that, don't be alarmed. It says it. Continue those steps, fill your details out, pass your documents on. And in some cases, you may take a photo with your ID. It just depends. I've had it happen and I've had it set up another account. It never happened to me, but end of the day, it's still FTX that I was using. Um, so if it does pop up for you, don't be alarmed. Fill it out, do everything it's asking for you because you don't have to KYC when you're using these because you know things become more regulated. They want to see who's trading on there, the volumes they're doing it, and you know your source of income, where you actually earn this money from. Okay? So do that yourself, and then I'll see you at the next step and give you a little show around of what FTX is like and how to use some features in there. All right, congratulations. You just set up an FTX account. So if you verified your details, well, you won't see this message here, but if you haven't, it'll pop up and it'll say you must verify identity. you got to do this, so go ahead and get it done straight away. Uh, I'm just going to a quick basic layout of what it looks like in FTX. Not too much detail, though you have a quick understanding because if you're watching this, it means you're very new to it. So you're not going to be going too heavy on the features or playing with it too much yet. But anyway, this is the market trend, so it's actually moving at the moment. Um, over here, you can do quick trades on it. And up here, these are the main things to look at. This is your wallet, so you can see your portfolio. Um, so the main ones here, you've got a sub account. So what you can do is you can build sub accounts on there. So say, you know, your kids want to give you some money and you want to trade for them, but you're keeping it separate for them or the kids are playing your account under them. You could do a sub account for them. That way they can watch their own money grow on there or, or watch it decline, depending how bad of a trader they are. Um, you know, businesses also do this as well as so they have sub accounts for what they're trading for. It could be a thing, but it's very easy to set up. You just keep passing out a sub account. Uh, down here, you have your balances. So that's what you're actually holding. Um, and also here, deposits, all the deposits you put in, withdrawals, everything you've drawn from your account. Uh, fills, this is all your fills of your orders. They've made an order in there. And it's filled, it'll be there. Uh, these two, I'm going to too much detail because you're not going to be using them straight away. So don't worry about them for this video. Uh, up here, you can see all your order histories. Uh, orders you actually have active. Order history, ones that are finished. And the positions that you have open at the moment. So say if you're an open trade, you can actually watch the positions in there. And it shows all your trade history. Okay. Um, over here in your markets, you can see all the markets that added and about. Wait for this to load. And you can see all the active markets in FTX itself. Uh, if you want to trade on something, very similar to the other ones, click what you like. So much like TradingView open up, you can use the tools in here. But if you're becoming a serious trader, I probably advise you to have TradingView open in a separate page. So you can do your doodling on there. Then you come back to here, just execute your trades. Um, when you are fully verified on here, this will have more features you can do and you can start trading on there, but it works like any other. You can make buy and sell orders on there. You can do margin trading in it. You can leverage trade. There's a bunch of options in there and you can go through and use it. When you start, I think you'd be spot trading because that's a safety thing for any newbie to start doing. It's a lot of them just looking to accumulate coins on there or just simple trades. So we're gonna later video, show you how to do these trades, how to use these exchanges in detail, okay? And yeah, so there's more features on here. You can check out some details, FTT, NFT, staking, OTC for larger orders, um, voting, funding. So if you're holding some of the FTX tokens, actually some cool features on there because you get some rewards 
using it as FTX. The t- ticker name is actually FTT. It's a utility token. So if you are holding that, you also get cheaper fees on here. So keep that in mind. You want to have a little bank of that and just keep it in there if you're planning a lot of trading because you're going to save a lot on fees by holding that. And, uh, accumulate some FTX because these guys are one serious exchange and they're here to stay long term. And yeah, later on video, we'll show you a full deep down rundown on how to trade on an exchange and explain all the features on there. Now, this video will pretty much apply to all the exchanges because they're very, very similar to each other. A few different layouts, a few different features, but it's the same principles across all of them. All right, so keys to crypto, keep watching them, understand this will change your crypto life.